Today we're joined by Broadleaf's integration partner, Approve, and discussing how to simplify what can be a very complex online payment process in the B2B world. We're going to get right into it. Michael, over to you. Sounds good. Thanks. Appreciate it, Brad. We're uh, excited to be here. Um, our team, uh, Neil and a few others, come from a background of uh, how businesses buy things. Uh, having spent time at Concur and Commerce One and a number of, uh, of different related organizations. And, you know, we first started looking at the problem of, of business spending by looking at the consumer. In the B2C world, uh, for those of you on the call, you may wish you were in that world because it's pretty easy to get paid. Customers control their own payment method, uh, and they also control the decision on, on what they can buy. And really what we've uncovered is it's just not that uh, simple in the B2B setting. So a typical store kind of looks like this. You have a, a corporate account piece that may take some kind of pre-configuration um, for your users. You have a number of different payment types, but most typically in online settings, you're seeing uh, a credit card. Um, outside of that, you may see ACH. Um, and there may be a few other kind of uh, uh, offline payment methods involved as well, um, but most of those are very disconnected from the transaction. On the accounts receivable side, uh, you see in a lot of cases, we see B2B companies that were really built around taking orders via phone and fax, and uh, all of a sudden this e-commerce thing has kind of popped up, uh, yet their customers still want to pay and transact in similar ways. They might want net 30 terms on a purchase. They may want to uh, uh, pay with a paper check. And a lot of that stuff is still being handled with a lot of paper, uh, faxing, emailing, PDFs back and forth, et cetera. Our vision for Approve is to really turnkey this whole B2B account management and payment picture for a merchant. We want to make it dead simple for you to get paid so you can focus on growing your business. So we're going to do something uh, that's not done, I think, in a lot of uh, these webinars. We're going to live demo, so uh, wish us luck. And uh, we're going to walk through each one of these bubbles, and I'm going to go back and forth between the PowerPoint and, uh, and the live demo. Um, so hopefully it's not a little too jarring. So what is approved? You'll see us in the, in the demo. Uh, a few people call us PayPal for business spending. Um, maybe an okay analogy, but it sticks because we're this button at checkout. And from this little button, we facilitate the first bubble in our picture, which is corporate account management. So really when you dive into one of the fundamental problems of B2B, it's that the shopper isn't the same person that needs to approve and pay for something. And this whole idea of purchasing approval and rule engines and all this stuff, um, you know, some people are handling it with, with a fairly complex setup for the user, and a lot of people aren't handling this at all. We see a lot of uh, people getting to check out and abandoning carts. We see a lot of people getting to check out and printing out a checkout page stapling it to a requisition form, and then passing it around the office. Um, and, and these are the kinds of, of problems that, that we solve. So I'm going to navigate over to the demo. This is Munder Difflin, our lovely demo site. And uh, you can see I've filled my cart with some, uh, with some items, and I'm going to check out with approved, so I'm going to click this button. You see the background shade out and this little modal pops up. We're focused on the merchant's brand. Uh, front and center, um, you see a little bit of language about, about what Approve is. You could learn a little more. This is your first time ever getting here. To create an account, it's simple. It's a username, password, and you're done. For the purposes of this demo, uh, we'll just assume that we have an account. So I'm going to log in here as Neil, as the shopper, and he's going to send me what we call purchase request. Name, email, and a little note, that's it. The card's closed. Now, this is very unique for our API. 
we're holding this cart in a pending state while we're waiting for purchasing approval. So Neil can get into more details later on in the presentation if you have them, but essentially we're saying to our e-commerce partners, you know, this is the, the purchasing intent. This is the contents of this cart, but payment is pending. And we're going to help you close this sale. We're going to go uncover this decision maker um, and, and make this happen. So switching back quick to the deck, corporate accounts for us means a very organic way of building. We just, we just uncovered that Neil and myself are related inside this company. And we're related in a certain way. One is making the, the purchasing decision and one is the shopper. There's no configuration for our merchants to have. There's obviously no code to manage. Um, this is all about building that purchasing approval workflow right into a single button so you're not leaving that cart. Um, the shopper payer communication, this is about back and forth between Neil and I, why do we want to make this purchase? Um, uh, coming soon for us, uh, we're adding credit applications to this whole thing, pre-approved spending. So if Neil was set up on a budget on your site, he could use approve and simply check out without having me approve it if I already set up pre-approved rules for him. Uh, we're also launching self-pay. Uh, if I'm the decision maker, I could click approve and the modal will say, do you want to pay for this or do you want to charge it to your company? Um, and, and the two different workflows kind of kick off from there. So we're handling corporate accounts for you in this very simplistic, organic way. Now, the PO process, everyone knows, is still a, a headache. It costs money for the payer to uh, uh, set this whole thing up. It costs money for the uh, and time and money for the merchant to handle all this paper and POs. Uh, but for us, it's quite a bit more simple. So I'm going to continue the demo. You'll see an email here. This is Neil's email to me. Here's a little note. You see we still highlight the merchant. And I'm just going to respond to this request. It knows I have an account already, so I'm going to log in. If I didn't, it would ask me to create one. It takes me right to the purchase request. So again, I see full line item detail of everything Neil wants. These are links right back to the product pages of the website. Um, and I'm going to approve this purchase. Now, from here, I could pay for it directly. Um, the most simple way would be I could use a credit card. Uh, I could always add a new card. Uh, I could use an ACH and an e-check and debit directly from my bank account. In this case, I'm going to use a PO. So I'm just going to go to my computer, drop a little uh, document in there. It could be any file format. I'm going to add our PO number for this purchase. Um, I could add a little note. I'm just going to approve it. So this PO now has been entered into approve. And the merchant gets a notification that my company has applied for trade credit. So I switched over here to the merchant view. Here I am logged in as Munder Difflin. I see there's two pending POs in the system. Oh, here's the one from me. Again, I see what he's trying to buy. I could print the direct invoice. I could contact um, the payer. I could take a look and review this PDF right here on the computer. Again, no faxing, no emailing PDFs back and forth. And then this is the key. I'm going to accept it. Now, the second that was accepted, our API released that shopping cart. The PO is a contract, terms have been accepted, and at this point, we consider the order uh, essentially closed, um, but payment is still pending in uh, a different way. So going back to our presentation, 
this is about tying POs directly into the order management of an e-commerce transaction. We think this is very new, very novel, and, and really streamlines a lot of the pain that we see in the B2B market. Um, because Approve is nice guys, we could send out automated payment reminder email tied directly to the terms of the purchase, if they're net 15, net 30, whatever. Um, payers can go ahead and schedule auto payment. Again, we're trying to really reduce and limit the accounts receivable headaches by making sure that the merchant's getting paid. And we're going we're gonna to just facilitate that whole process. So we're sending that, that buyer email saying, hey, your payment's due in five days. We see you don't have a credit card or an e-check set up to automatically debit. Why don't you do that? Um, and we also will do overdue notifications. Now, I'm going to move on to payments, lastly. Uh, everyone knows B2B e-commerce right now is killing it. Uh, Forrester's new data, if you didn't see it, B2B will do about a trillion this year. Um, and one of the things that's really uh, surprised us is the number of different payment methods used to get to this trillion-dollar number. And uh, checks has been one that's popped up. Um, not in every e-commerce situation, but in a number of different markets where checks are still very, very prevalent. And, uh, you know, this kind of plays into the next phase of our demo. Now, I'm back here as the payer. I click on open invoices. You can see I have quite a few, but this is the one that was just sent. It was approved about two minutes ago. You see it's the same PO. And now I come down here to payment. And we're actually redoing some of this UX, so I apologize. Um, paper check is an option. So we have check instructions that go directly to approve. So we had a merchant, uh, we never thought we'd be in this business, uh, but we had a merchant tell us that he'd pay us half the value of a check and he never had to see it. I think he was joking a bit, but uh, the point is there. You know, you are e-commerce companies, and yet your merchants, your customers still want to pay you in paper. We want to simplify this process. The checks come to us. We've worked out some pretty um, interesting methodology uh, with our banks for processing these checks. We make sure the transactions are marked as paid, and we pay you out as we normally do on a rolling seven-day basis. I'm just going to pay for this with a credit card. Hit submit, and that's it. Payment's done, approved. The shopper gets an email, payer gets an email uh, saying everything's good, transactions closed, everyone got paid, completely paperless transaction. There's a list of our payments, again, POs, tying them directly into e-commerce, check processing, a, uh, a new service that we're starting to offer. So again, this is all about reducing your code to manage. We take on that whole corporate account management, purchasing approval workflow. It's completely turnkey through approve. Accounts receivable headaches, making this thing paperless um, really is where our value comes in. You look at customer satisfaction, we've seen very emotional responses from shoppers after using Approve. They can't believe that they facilitated this request through their company and it was that easy. Um, everyone talks about bringing a more B2C-like customer experience to B2B. Uh, if you look at how we're configured, it's a simple one-click checkout. That's it. The data. Um, something I can touch on a little more at the end, but that's becoming a much bigger part of our solution as well. The information we're collecting um, that's very different than what a traditional credit card processor would. Our message, uh, this is a, one of our t-shirts. Um, again, this is about making sure that you, Mr. Merchant, uh, can focus on growing your business, not how you get paid. Approve takes on that burden for you. Uh, we're here today with Broadleaf because one of our early customers was uh, Vology. They're on the Broadleaf platform. Uh, they're a large IT um, distributor. I think we have a few folks on the call today. Uh, when Debbie called us, she said quite simply that their uh, shopper was a network engineer because they're the subject matter expert about the equipment that they want to buy. Yet 
all of these people are not decision makers. They do not have purchasing approval inside their company, and that was a huge gap. There was very little insight into who that decision maker was. They were having card abandonment issues, and there was just a lot of um, a lot of stuttering within the whole checkout and payment process. This is a, a live view of uh, Bology's checkout. You can see very similar to our demo. From an implementation standpoint, John gave us some really kind words. Uh, they had us up and running in their early environment in less than a day. Um, and uh, you can see how we compare it to a, a PayPal integration. Um, you can read a lot more about our docs. They're open online at approve.com slash doc. You can see the uh, web address there at the bottom. From a pricing standpoint, uh, you know, we're really around transaction fees that are fairly industry standard, around 2.9 and 35 cents for running credit cards and ACH and paper checks. Uh, we do have a SaaS fee on top of that, and that's really driven around the value we're bringing with corporate account management, purchasing approval, um, PO facilitation, and automation. This is a slide that's kind of representative of, of what's happening right now. As we add more merchants, there's this big pool of shoppers that are now all approved shoppers. So if you think about your typical business, they might have a corporate account set up with 20 different merchants. Our vision is for that company to have a single corporate account to approve. And they're using that account to manage their spending with all kinds of different merchants. And again, this is where the data kind of comes into play and where it becomes a, a fairly interesting marketing opportunity for the merchants within the approved uh, network. Um, there's a lot of information flowing through here. Uh, business shoppers don't look like consumers. Um, there's more going on than just running a credit card, and, and that's really the information we're focused on on collecting and, and hoping to uh, to make sure that our merchant partners um, you know can benefit from. That's kind of the end of it. I really appreciate your time. Uh, we think we've developed a, a pretty pretty interesting solution, not just for companies, but for uh, the merchants trying to facilitate these payments. We've seen some some really good uh, early data on, on reducing those accounts receivable and corporate account management headaches, and uh, we'd be excited to, to work with you.